Good afternoon. It is not morning for once. Since I only seem to say good morning. But it is afternoon. And, <clears throat> but it's like I'm in such a, I hope I stay like this. It's like, that's what makes me nervous about myself is that I get motivated to do something. You know, I get the mood to do it. And, you know, I want to fix everything about me all at once. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm serious about losing the weight, but I am going to stumble and fall. It's just, I am. But, you know, it's like when, you, when you're back up and you're back ready and you're motivated. I'm sorry, I got gum on my mouth. All right? I, I apologize. Um, you're motivated and you feel on top of everything. You tell, I'm, just, I'm on top. I'm on top. I want to do this and this and this and this. And one of my things is something that I, other than weight loss that I want to fix about myself is getting back to what I call old Kim. I call it old Kim because old Kim was organized to the T. You know, everything was organized and together. Like I, I had my shit together. I feel like I did. The old Kim did. This newer lazy Kim sucks. Okay, and I am trying to get rid of her. I am trying to wake old Kim up and bring her back. So right now, old Kim is in charge of the reins, and I I like it better when old Kim's in charge. Like how I keep referring to myself in the third person. But old Kim is here, and old Kim is like, gotta get organized. Get this stuff organized. Stop effing around. Let's do this. I'm motivated. So like right now, I have like, oh, watch out, dear. Watch out, watch out. I'll slow down for you, but those are little bastards might not. Careful. There you go. It was a baby. Aw. Yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm motivated, and I want to get organized, and I don't know. I'm just feeling like, woo! I'm on top of stuff. I'm drinking some good tea. English breakfast, joining. Oh, okay. It's put me in a good mood. And I'm about to go doing one of my largest pet peeves, grocery shopping. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. But I'm like, no, okay. There's a lot of things that I want to get organized with, want to get on top of. And <clears throat> other than fitness, you know, I want to I want to get things organized. And I've already told you how I my bedroom is not a normal person's bedroom. I have no storage everything's I don't care that's not an excuse not to get some organization done too though but so each day I have scheduled things that I am going to accomplish okay so today the big one that's looming over my head is grocery shopping I mean I, I'm we're at the point where it's not even like a possibility there will be no dinner this evening nobody's eating unless I go grocery shopping today we're in that kind of mode because I have blown it off to that point that I can't even make something up to fix for dinner. There's nothing. There's about a half a loaf of bread left. Okay? That's it. I hate going. But I'm like, all right. It's on the schedule. I'm doing it today. Motivated Kim is taking over and we're going to go get this stupid stuff done. And ain't it raining out? I hate driving in the rain. I was in a car accident last fall uh, due to, let me just say it, due to a hydroplane that had I not experienced, I would not believe anybody else if they told me it happened to them. I would think they were exaggerating. Or I would think, no, you just had a high rate of speed. Unfortunately, I would have passed judgment. But because I lived it, I can speak to it and say, oh my gosh, I really experienced that. And we all we all drive in the rain and feel a little a little slippage, you know, if there's a lot of water on the road. You feel a little sometimes a little catching, you know what I mean? No. This is not what that was. This was a full on terrifying hydroplane that it did destroy my car. Um and I was just barely in the financial position to buy another car because of course I didn't have compact collision on the car. Um, learning lessons, okay, people, learning lessons. 
So now, Bo, I'm not gonna lie, I am now driving in the rain terrifies the hell out of me. So yeah, so it's freaking pouring out when I'm in motivated mode. And I don't care. I gotta slow down because I'm getting paranoid. Hold on, I'm not here. I don't like trucks either. Big, big trucks like, what are they called? Like Briggs, 18 reel or things like that. Uh-uh, I don't like them. Make me nervous, I hate driving by one and I got one right, right next to me. Um, so yeah, I was in a car accident last fall due to an official hydroplaning, as I said before. It's somebody else, you know, said to me that they were in that situation. I wouldn't have believed them. I would have thought they were exaggerating. But I lived it, and I can attest to it, and it was terrifying, and it really happened, and I will never, ever doubt someone again when they claim a hydroplane. And I, it's not like I had somebody come to me and tell me, and I'm like, you're a liar. No, I didn't, I, it's not like that. But it's just I always thought people exaggerated. I did. This is a motivational moment. We're going grocery shop. We're going to get it done. And I will report to you later. And I'm not going to tell you that I'm going to bring you shopping with me because every time I tell you I'm going to bring you somewhere, I rarely do it. I always forget once I'm there. Maybe I'll turn this on. Maybe I won't. I will talk to you soon, though. Oh, my Lord, party people. Woo. I legit just got done shopping. Okay. It's... Well, first of all, I'm already late. I'm late picking my kid up from school. So I'm all like, oh my God. You know, I'm all stressed out over that. So I'm going to be driving like a moron in a few moments. Just not while I'm recording. Um, and, oh, come on, baby. Let's get that green light. Come on, come on. Come on, please. Please don't turn. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Oh, 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 can't, turn, can't take them corners hard. <laughs> Told my groceries to fall over. Okay, so I told you I was all like motivated to do my, um, gotta put you in your pocket. This is a little dangerous. There we go. Um, I told you that I was all motivated. You know, old Kim motivation, uh, being neat tidy is here. And I got everything done. I think I was unable to get three things on my big list I had a big list three things because I had I have never made stuffed peppers before in my life and I wanted to make them and um, this genius only wrote down um, part of the recipe of what I needed and of course when I I'm like well I'll just look it up on my phone I'll just I'll just look at my phone and then but unfortunately when I opened up my phone and saw what time it was I'm like I gotta go can't happen gotta go gotta go gotta go so I was not able to get all of the things I needed anyway so whatchamacallit all right so motivated Kim was here but now motivated Kim is nervous because my child is waiting for me at the school and I don't like doing that because it makes me feel bad and guilty and because of the cleaning gig that I do sometimes I am late so this happens to him like once a week and I, I feel guilty so anyway so I got all my stuff done, okay? I got all my stuff done. And um, yeah, I don't even want to tell you what that bill was. It was out of this world. It was, okay? $453. Can you believe that? $453. However, this is like a big uh, stock up. Do you know what I'm saying? So, oh God, I hate this angle. Not any better. And I'm just going to hold it like this. So, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, $453. Oh, my God. But I got I to gotta chill myself and just remind myself, it is a stack up. This is not your normal bill. This is, you are completely out of everything. Even, like, your basics, like ketchup, mustard, seed, or salt, and pepper, you know, all that kind of stuff. This is what that is. So, all the vitamins, and I take a lot of vitamins by my own choice, of course. No, no one's told me to do this. Um, I don't know why I just told you that. But and I bought like a little area rug for my my room, even though I am totally against purchasing anything to decorate where we live right now. Because what is the point? It's not our permanent spot. It's just for now. But I cannot stand, and I know my dog is dying to not lay on the hardwood floor. 
even though the rug won't make it cushioned, but it, it's she's delusional. If she sees rug, she thinks it's going to be it's better to lay on than the hardwood. So I bought an area rug for my bedroom. Also because there was previously carpet in the bedroom. And we removed the carpet because it was so old. I mean, it was the same carpet that was in there like when I was a teenager. Okay? So it got removed. And I don't know why they ever even put carpeting down. They have beautiful hardwood floors. And they should have just refinished. Anyway, off topic. But where they ripped up the rug, there are still nails in the floor that I, I cannot get them out. And I've even tried beating them down. In the, I mean, they're skinny nails. And they're only little, little tiny tops. But I mean, they're not a nail. I don't know. What's it called? Nail top? There's not a thing. The top of the nail... That is not there. This is like the point up. And it, so I, I don't know nothing about flooring. So if that's normal, okay. But if it's not, that's what's there. And um, oh my God, the time. My poor kid. Oh, I'm feeling a little work nervous. I hate doing that to him. You, this is what I do when I'm nervous. Can you tell? I do this. I don't know why. You just got a little part of me that... I wouldn't even ever think to talk about. So, yeah. The little there's little naily thingies. Little tiny that I can't get a I can't get a hammer in. I, I I don't know if there's a special tool other than that to remove these things, but I don't own it. And uh, my father doesn't own it because well, I just assumed I don't know. So, I have pieces, tiny pieces of duct tape on top of them. So, it doesn't make the surface smooth, but it makes it so the little pointies are not sticking up anymore. Um, and I hate looking at them because it makes me not want to show you footage because I don't want you guys to see those ugly things. Even though in the clothing, in one of the videos where I'm like separating my laundry because I just love cleaning videos and I would love to dabble in those a little bit too. But, oh my God, can you tell that I'm all like amped and like, I'm in motivation mode and I'm nervous plucked together so that makes me like D -d 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 um yeah so I bought an area rug to help cover those so now I'm not embarrassed to record other parts of my room in front of you guys because I am a little embarrassed I am and and because it's not my house to record in and other areas in the house I am uncomfortable with Chapa. Chapa, chapa, chapa. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, I bought a gray. It Basically, it looks like it's the same exact. It's the matching floor to my area rug that my rocking chair sits on. If you care. But I'll show you when it's all laid down. Basically, like I said before, my, my room is totes and boxes. The near mattress. And, and a closet. And the closet, you know, is my sanctuary. Whoopsie, whoopsie. I got, you know what? I cannot drive and do this, so. I don't have to. Okay. 